Hi lovely wine drinkers, welcome to another Thirsty Thursday. This week we have some very special guests. We have um, Nicola Giogoni and Nicole from uh, the Monteselva Vineyard in Abruzzo in Italy. And they make a range of beautiful um, Italian wines made from um, native grapes. So we have some really lovely white, light whites. So we have Trebbiano, which is really light and fruity. Um, also make uh, pecorino, just a little bit more structured, a little bit of white pepper flavour in there, very, very nice. Um, and also um, what you'd expect them to make from a Rizzo, Montepulciano's. So Nicola is uh, Italian, doesn't speak that much English, so Nicole is um, speaking for him. Why is it that um, a Rizzo is uh, so suited to the Montepulciano grape? I think the reason why... Um... Uh, the wine is, uh, in Abruzzo is so good and a uh, product of uh, high quality is because of uh, uh, where it's situated in Italy. Uh, Abruzzo, if you don't know, it's a region in the center of Italy, uh, especially on the east coast. And um, uh, it's particular because um, where this wine grows, uh, where the grapes grow, uh, it's, in, um, it's between the coastline and the mountains. And uh, so this makes um, uh, the territory very uh, particular for um, the um, for the wine, and especially for the um, for the climatic uh, the climate. It's very um, it's perfect for um, for um, for, so for the bit wine. Yeah, Mediterranean climate. Yeah, maybe, it's so. exactly yes. It's the that's very Mediterranean climate. Uh, that makes the the wine just uh, just perfect because you have mountains and the coast and the hills as well. So this um, yeah, a good amount of rain. Is that just enough rain? And yeah, that you yeah. have that enough rain that it's not too hot, it's not too cold. So it's uh, that perfect balance of the, the temperature that um, that's able to to make good wine. Oh, fantastic! Thank you very much. Yeah. That's great. So I've got a Lickius bottle here. Um, a Lickius is uh, Greek for aging. Um, I have this lovely label. Uh, this sort of uh, textured section um, uh, denotes like the wood, the old vines that it comes from. Um, uh, it's had six months in um, barrique and um, it's just beautifully smooth. There we go. We have a 2016 vintage of it. Uh, it's award winning um, and it won a silver medal in um, the International London Wine Fair. So we get to taste this week, which is very exciting because obviously we don't normally get to taste. So um, here we go. Mm. And Nicole's going to um, let us know what it tastes like. Well, so uh, I think it has an harmonious balance uh, of aromas and flavours. Um, this is because it's managed by aging in wood, in wood with uh, persistent and elegant notes. Uh, I think this wine would be perfect with uh, pasta dishes or uh, especially I think it would be excellent with uh, meat with uh, with some meat yes or yeah, cheese ham like this kind of uh, excellent that's great it really is beautiful this um, it's well integrated the tannins are really super smooth um, it's a perfect balance of acidity and alcohol it's just lovely um, lots of cherry in there, a lot of cherry um, and some black currant, just perfect. Um, it's 14 and a half percent alcohol, it's quite high, but you know, you can't really taste it. It's really nice, it's super smooth, so well worth a purchase. Okay, so uh, this is a Thirsty Thursday wine, obviously, so you're going to get your 10% off. So normally this is 16 99 it's going to be a bargain price this week of £15.30. So get down here quickly while you actually you can taste it on Saturday. Um, the 21st of April here in our lip cook shop and also in our principal shop if you have lovely things. so we just wanted to talk about this uh, the rosé as well um, because this rosé is made completely from Montepulciano grape um, it's quite unusual for over here in England it looks quite dark but don't let that fool you this is lovely it's um it's quite dry it's full of cherries a little bit of almond flavor um, and roses on the finish it's just beautiful so it's very worth, worth um, giving this a try if you can and not just sticking to the sort of really pale Provence roses that people do this is really lovely 10.99 normally in the shop or on the website 
Thank you so much, Nicole and Nicola. Um, we can see here that the team at Montesalva are combining their passion for winemaking and with the amazing environment that they have there in Abruzzo to make some really great wines, especially the Elikias. So happy drinking team and um, see you next week. Like and subscribe if you can. Take care. Bye.